Okay. So today's lecture, I am going to talk about Klein Cordon equation, and uh, I will talk about in the earlier lecture I derived Klein Cordon equation, and uh, now I will extend this for a free particle, or compare with the free particle like Schrodinger equation. and uh, the solution of free particle is a plane wave solution so let us try to do it here now let us recall plane wave solution of the schrodinger wave equation plane wave solution for free particle problem as you know that del square psi is equal to minus 2 me over h cross square psi and here it is k square psi negative k square psi and its solution can be written as psi is equal to exponential of plus minus iota kx the solution looks like this and it is known as plane wave solution it can be written as p over h cross so keeping this in mind i can write down psi is equal to exponential plus minus iota p over h cross x the solution must looks like this right so this is just recall of a plane wave solution for free particle as we discussed in case of schrodinger wave equation now let us write down the klein cordon equation klein cordon equation can be written as right so this is our equation and uh, let me re-express this part it can be written as m not m not c square separately divided by h cross square and it is psi with negative sign now as i know that this m not c square it is equivalent to energy so that means this equation this part is like a this part because both looks identical right these two terms looks identical right so if those this is in three vector means it's a vector formulation and it is in the four form four vector form right so that means both the parts will looks identical so that means as its solution is like this that means its solution also must be like this and its solution must also be like this so keeping this in mind i can write down its solution like this so therefore i can write down psi as a exponential of here it is it is a uh, i am considering it's one part so let me write down it is minus iota over h cross and it is p mu x mu right so that means both the solutions looks identical so this is the free particle like solution but in the four vector form or using klein cordon equation 
and it can be written as minus iota over h cross p not x not minus p x. And it is equal to exponential plus iota over h cross. Px can be written here and p not x not it is basically et, right? So this is a one way to look at this. Now Again, consider klein coordinate equation, but in terms of momentum operator. And let me call this as uh, equation number one. Yeah, this is our equation number one. Yeah, I've written there. It's equation number two. Now again, consider equation that P mu P mu it is P mu. Psi is m naught square c square psi. So and let me call this as equation number three. Now using two in three, what we are getting? We are getting that. P mu P mu exponential minus iota over h cross P mu P mu sorry P mu x mu it's equal to m naught square c square exponential of minus iota over h cross P mu x mu And both the terms looks identical, so they will cancel out. So, which means that I can write down p mu p mu is equal to m naught square c square, and if I expand this, it can be written as e square upon c square minus p dot p m naught square c square well, you can simply write down it as uh, e square over c square minus p square is equal to m naught square c square multiplying both sides by c square then i can say that it is e square minus p square c square is equal to m naught square c4 which implies that e square must be equal to m naught square c4 C4 plus plus P square C square. So from here, I can take C square outside so it can be written as M naught square C square.
so from here i can write down the value of e the value of e which i am getting it is plus minus c i am not square I am not square c square plus p square whole under the root. So that means there are two possible values. Thus there exists solution with positive and negative energies. with positive and negative e that is e plus can be written as plus c m not square c square plus p square under the root and e minus can be written as minus c m not square c square plus p square whole under the root so that means if this is the reference line and let me call this as m not c square with negative value this is the minimum lowest possible value and this plus m not c square and higher values can take different discrete values like this So this is the energy spectrum. Energy spectrum of free particle. Using klein gordon equation. So. But we do not know that what does this negative energy indicate. But later on, we will arrive that the at conclusion that negative energies. energies are physically connected with antiparticle antiparticle so this is all about the free particle solution and here we got the idea of negative energies so that's all for this lecture and in the next lecture I will talk about current and the charge densities and uh, uh, basically I will try to derive uh, what we call uh, equation of continuity right so that's all for this lecture.